assalamu alaikum my name is abdul rauf today we are going to uh, discuss the exam style question based on specific heat capacity we have a question here as we can read it the metal block has a mass of 2.7 kg the metal of the block has a specific heat capacity of 900 joules per kilogram per centigrade in 2 minutes and 30 seconds the temperature of the block increases from 21 degree celsius to 29 39 degree celsius calculate the power of the heater now this is an important question in a sense like if you see here we are going to score four marks so first we need to do little uh, you know a thought process before uh, attempting the question instantly so the first thing we need to recall to ourselves what is specific heat capacity as we see here specific heat capacity is the amount of the thermal energy absorbed per unit mass of a substance or you should we should say by a substance to raise its temperature by 1 kelvin we can write 1 kelvin or 1 celsius now the formula for specific heat capacity would be thermal energy absorbed per unit mass into temperature difference or we can say raise in temperature in symbolic form we can write c as delta q by m delta t where the unit for specific heat capacity would be joules per kilogram per kelvin so this is how we um, state specific heat capacity uh, in some time they also ask us to write the statement so we can write the statement as uh, it is written over here and uh, of course we are just focusing right now on the uh, question solution instead of the topic obviously we will have a uh, you know um, detailed discussion on the specific heat capacity in some other tutorial we just rearrange the equation as delta q equals to mc delta t as you see delta q is the thermal energy absorbed by the metal block in joules m is the mass of metal block in kilograms c is specific heat capacity in joules per kilogram per kelvin and delta t is the raise in temperature so the temperature can be expressed in kelvins or in celsius using the equation we just plug in the values mass is 2.7 kg as you see here the specific heat capacity is 900 joules per kg per centigrade into the difference of temperature as we use the word raise in temperature so 39 minus 21 celsius i have written all the units now i have skipped the units just to focus on the calculation you can see 2.7 into 900 into 939 minus 21 so we get 43,740 joules now this is the thermal energy absorbed by the metal block which was provided by the the electric heater as shown in the diagram now let's calculate the power of heater so how we are going to calculate the power of heater since power is the work done per unit time the defining equation for power is work done per unit time here the work done is considered as the thermal energy provided by the heater or you would say the thermal energy absorbed by the heater uh, sorry the thermal energy absorbed by the metal so writing p as w by t or in in place of w we are writing e so e is delta q this is the amount of heat provided by the heater or you can say this is the amount of heat absorbed by the metal remember ideally we are considering no energy loss to the surroundings in uh, practical situations we have to consider that some of the energy will be lost to the surroundings also but we are ignoring that fact over here so power is delta q over delta t delta q as we found Uh, was 43740 and divided by t now just focus here the time was given in minutes it was 2 minutes in 30 seconds we have converted time into seconds you can see here in 2 minutes there are 120 seconds plus 30 seconds so in total of uh, 150 seconds so we are going to plug in the value for time over here and by dividing this we get 
291.6 wow. as a student when you are attempting this paper you should be uh, considering all these facts first yes you need to write this equation to get that first mark second you plug in the values and get your value for the delta q as the energy absorbed then you need to write the equation for power and plug in the values but remember you need to convert the time into seconds so you can see you get the first mark for this equation you get one mark for the calculations and you get one mark for converting the time you know from minutes into seconds and finally writing the value of power along with the unit you get another mark so this is how you'll score your four marks so that's it for this video stay tuned inshallah we will be uh, uploading more videos related to the syllabus so see you then allah hafiz